is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. Even national parks don't look like this. This is one of the last places on earth that probably looks like this. So we've just taken a corrigum, pretty incredible animal here. You can see he's not going to make it through this uh, this coming heat spell. I mean, he's. When we take animals like this. We've done a good thing for conservation. We've put some meat on the table, and uh, we've kept 40 more people employed for another couple of weeks. So, pretty incredible moment here. secondary growth on him. I mean, he's got everything. He's got size, he's got the secondary growth, and he's got the length. Old, thick, and long. Thirteen years old. That is an old, old man. Well, we put some salt out in, in this area so that the, uh, the animals come here, they get a little bit of salt in their system, it helps them retain water. Especially as we get into the hotter part of the year and, and there's less and less water, this, this helps keep them healthy through the, through the driest part of the season here. You don't put this out, you don't see this many animals. It's a trap, an old one, I mean, like used by the vulture, I mean, to catch animal, I mean, they put it on the ground near most of the time where there is water or where we put salt. As soon as the animal like put his feet in it, when he wants to remove it, I mean, all this sharp piece of food gets stuck into the leg. Uh -huh. And this is connected to a cable, to a huge piece of food that they dig into the ground. And I mean, if you manage to remove this piece of food, I mean, you will not be able to go very far. Yeah. And I mean, they will be easy to track. Yeah, even if he pulls the stake yeah. or even if he gets his foot out of this, mm. he's gonna have a piece of... Yeah. And I mean, this is old and it's had burn over it and you still feel it and it's Yeah, it's, it's sharp. very sharp and strong. I mean, yeah. I mean, this has been burned so and it's old, but I mean, when it was fresh, well, just unfortunate what the end result is because and it's yeah. not it's not target specific. It takes the babies as well as injuring big oh. animals that end up getting away like an eland yeah. and that will eventually be be killed because it's got an infection and dies and is completely wasted.
We, we make one nice clean shot. He drops right where he stood. Really incredible trophy. Thanks again to the hunting consortium. Let's tombe. Voila! Finish. Yeah! Alessa! Awesome! Oh. <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! You spend your whole life looking for animals like this and never see them. Here we are in northern Cameroon, and I am sitting here with an incredible Lord Derby Elan. Uh, I'd like to thank Bob Kern and Rob Kern at the Hunting Consortium for organizing, planning, and uh, putting together this hunt for me and, and getting me in contact with, with great guys. Elon, this size don't come along every day, but if you're going to find them, this would be the place to do it. So it's it's a very healthy population and it's increasing. Good job, guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to the incredible trackers and, and incredible team we have here in Africa. Huge thanks goes out to the hunting consortium. They they put together one heck of a one heck of a hunt. Make it make getting to a very difficult place to get to. They make it easy. This is the result. Those guys know their stuff. <laughs>